Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you under the hood, what are the tools that I use to run my automation agency and to help many, many, many clients to automate their business. So let's get started. So the tools that I'm gonna show you today are the tools that I use to run my agency, my company, and not to, of course, to run um, the automations that I have running for my clients. So you're gonna know what are the key tools that are essential to my company and to scale my automation agency. So starting with the first point of contact that I have with leads and clients, um, the first tool is ConvertKit. ConvertKit is a very important tool that I use combining with everything that I have, sh that I share across my social media channel. So I have my Twitter channel, I have LinkedIn, I have here this channel on YouTube. So I share a lot of content. I have my newsletter, I have email sequences. So I use ConvertKit to get in contact with all my subscribers and to send more emails and content to the ones that decided to subscribe to my newsletter or other email sequences as well. The second one is Calendly. So Calendly is a very important to, to make it very easy for anyone to book a call with me. So once they get impacted by my contact, once they watch my video or they see any posts on LinkedIn and they are interested in learning more about how I can help them skill their business with automation, they can book a call with me with the Calendly link, just like the one I have down below in the description of this video. So Calendly is very important to make that process really easy and of course, automated. The third tool is my CRM. And for the CRM, I use Breakcode. Breakcode is a very new CRM on the market. And what I like about Breakcode is that it's a CRM that can connect with social media channels. So you can follow your lead, your client on the social media and you can have all the feed in just one place. So you can keep engaging and interacting with your leads on LinkedIn, Twitter, and also over email. The fourth tool is Webflow. So my website, which you can also click here and see on the link down below in the description, is built on Webflow. I, I really like Webflow. I think it's very easy and um, a great tool to use in order to build great websites. And my website is built on Webflow and also, again, is connected with my ConvertKit and Connolly accounts. The fifth one is the Loom. I record a lot of videos, not only for YouTube, but also for my clients in leads. So I use Loom to make that process very easy. It's very easy to record a video and to share that video with anyone that you want. So I like to use it to record case studies. I like to use to really show the automation running and share that with my clients. And Loom is a great tool for that. And I use it almost every day with leads clients and my audience. Okay. So once a lead becomes a client on my agency, I start the onboarding process. And for the onboarding process, the first one that I use is PandaDoc. PandaDoc is the, the two that I use for sharing my um, contract in agreement with my new clients. And of course it's, it's a very nice tool to do that. And again, it's connected to everything that I shared before. It's connected to my CRM, for example, so I can share the agreement, the contract automatically and collect signatures. Same thing for Stripe. So Stripe is the tool that I use to collect payments, to create the subscriptions and the invoices. So the same time that I send the agreement, I also send, um, I also create and send a new Stripe invoice to the new client. The next one is Slack. So um, I think you probably already know Slack. So I use Slack to not only communicate with my team, but also with my clients. So I usually create one Slack channel for every client that I started working with. 
and also this is being done automatically. So when I when I am onboarding a new client, the channel is being created automatically, and also that client is being invited to that channel also automatically. The next one is HyperVault. HyperVault is the tool that I use to share credentials, right? So um, as I'm building automations, as I'm connecting automations with my clients' tools, I need to get their credentials. So I use HyperVault to do that. I create a folder there for every client that I work with, and I share that folder with the client so the client can add their credentials because every automation that we build here, it's built from scratch. Everything is custom built just for my client because I really believe that the automation should fit my client's operations and not the other way around. So everything is 100% customizable. So um, that's why I use my client's tools as well to connect with everything that I'm building here. And for that, I need the credentials. And the best tool for that is definitely HyperVault. Okay, so now that I have all my new clients fully onboarded, then I start to uh, really work on their automations. And to really manage all our internal projects, to really manage all, all their automations, I use money.com to do that, um, to manage other clients, other projects, other automations with me and my team as well. We run a lot of different automations for um, our clients. So monday.com is the two that I prefer to manage everything. Next one is Whimsical. So before really starting to um, create the automation, to really start doing the coding or building the automations in any other tool, I like to build a flowchart, a mind map with every step of the automation so I can share with my client and get their inputs. And to do that, I use Whimsical to create the flowchart for that. So I create the trigger and all the actions that are going to trigger with that automation. With that, I share with clients, I get the inputs, I get the feedbacks, and then I go in and build the actual automation um, either to the automation tools, either to scripting or APIs. So this is very important to make sure that what I'm building is making sense to my client, is making sense to my client's operation. So I really like to do that beforehand um, to start automating their processes. So those were the tools that I use to run my automation agency. Of course, that to build the actual automations, I use other tools as well. So I use make.com, I use BitScout, I use custom um, APIs, webhooks, I write custom Python scripts, I use many different AI models. But anyways, that will be very customized depending on my client's processes, depending on my client's business. So that's why I had everything is customized. So uh, the tools and the tags that we use to build the automation will depend on the client and the process that we're going to automate, okay? But the tools that I share here are the ones that we use every single day with every single one of our clients to make sure that we are helping them and we also can scale our automation agency. Hope this is helpful. Hope you now understand and have a better idea of the tools that you can use to um, skill your company. As always, if you have any questions and if you need any help to skill your company with automations, just click on the link down below, get on a call with me so we can talk about how we can skill your company. Thank you.